Simpson back with you here from Guitar at Work. Welcome back. This is a How to Play a Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. A definitely a top 10 campfire standard for sure. Um, easy chords for you. There's like three chords going on, four chords going on, and uh, our meat and potatoes chords, G's, D's, C's, and E minor in there once in a while. Um, a very standard strumming pattern as well. There's a fancy intro bit. That thing there. Let's save that toward the end, just so I don't want to sort of spook you with that. It's not that difficult, but let's get the basic chords going on first. We will definitely do that fancy intro bit later on for sure. Um, so looking right at, and thank you for subscribing and all your thumbs up. It's been really a, a fun time doing these YouTube videos and hearing from so many of you. Thumbs up really do help. Subscribe and hit that little uh, bell notification thing. It just tells you when new videos have come out. And as always, if you've been to Guitar at Work videos before, go get the sheets. ShaneSimpson.com. There's no charge, nothing to sign up for. Uh, just look for a little red button that says Download Guitar at Work Song Sheets and you'll be able to follow along a whole lot better. It tells you the order of business here, when to play what chord, and the lyrics are there for you as well. Um, so we'll jump right in with a G chord. I'm playing what I call the big kids G for this guy. And how do you make that decision as to when to play what G, uh, be it this G or this G here? Um, this song is often going from G to C, so it just kind of makes sense. Uh, this, this G, there's no name to distinguish it from your other G, but uh, it's, it's a little folkier sounding, I think you can find it's a little softer sounding than the, than the four finger G. So I'm gonna go with that G. And you can see third finger there, middle finger, second fret, and pinky's all the way to that high string. Keep your thumb low, uh, down low like that. It'll help your pinky to operate for sure if this shape is new to you. So just sketch in those chords. We're going to be going from there to a C. And you see the beauty of that fingering where at C, you are just right there. There we go, G. And here's your C chord. There we go. I'm going to go back to G again. And we're heading to a D. Okay, so those are our chords. There's an E minor coming up later. We'll talk about that when we get there. Piece of cake for you. You already know it, I'm sure. Um, so we're going to come up with the strumming pattern. I'm going to use that standard old pattern. I'm going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. I think we've all seen that a time or two. It's going to go down, down, up. Up, down, up. Now every time you see a chord name over top of the lyrics, uh, you play one of those patterns. Okay, one of those patterns. Doesn't matter how far those co chords are apart, one pattern per, per chord that you see there. Uh, remember, try not, the, the chord is basically over top of the lyrics that they change on, but that, that's it's got a little bit of latitude here and there. So watch it. Our job is more about beats than it is lyrics, right? Playing the guitar and behind the singer. So if I'm going to go G now, I'm going to take it through G, down, down, up. Here's a C coming. Hey, where did we go? You know, G again, going to a D here, the rain came, and a G coming, C, down the hollow, and a G, going to a D, playing a new game, there we go. So that's, that's all going to be all that through through the verse as well. And we'll be doing a play along video for this uh, in mere moments from now. Watch out for that. So this is just to get you going on the song. And when you feel you can play it all the way through, then uh, I'll do it at medium tempo and at full speed ahead uh, on a separate video. So keep your eyes out for that play along series at Guitar at Work uh, YouTube channel. So um, what else is going to happen there? There'll be an E minor as I hit the, the last verse, uh, excuse me, the last line in the verse. It's going to start on the D, my brown eyed. G, girl, now E minor, going to a C here, piece of cake, U, D, and G, my brown eyed girl. Now D7, let's get take a look at this guy, D7, yeah, and I should tell you, if you ever blank out and don't know what a D7 is, ah, you just play a regular D, you're going to be totally fine. The D7 just has a little bit more pull to get you back where it wants to go, which is G. So dominant chord, D7. It's dying. You wouldn't sleep all night until you heard that G. But D also does the trick as well if you blank it. Um, now in the bridge, um, D7 again, midway down the page there, D7. Do you remember when? And they're back to a G here. We used to sing. Sha la la la. C. G. D7. La di da. One pattern per chord, not. Yeah, here's your C coming, sha la la la, etc. G, D7, G, la di da. 
good stuff. Now you may have to stop tape right there. If you're just starting out on the guitar and G's, C's and D's are new to you, there's no shame in that. You may have to do like everyone else has to do. G, just practice going from G to C, G to D, round and round. And just throw a movie on, you just go G to D, G to C. So it does, it does it require that you have some facility changing chords, obviously, right? Um, so that's all we're going to see in there. There's an instrumental section where the guitar lays out. He stops playing for about six bars, a little bass solo in there. Uh, so we would just lay out and uh, on the play along video, we'll have that uh, in there. So uh, getting to that intro, getting to that intro. So again, if those chords are new to you, just sit back and practice those and then come on back. The intro, you're going to see on your second page, some tablature. I'm assuming you know how to read that, that number system in there. The, there's only two shapes to worry about. Okay, two shapes. The first one you're seeing is eight here on the B string. 8 on the B string and 7 on the high E. 8 and 7. I'm using my second finger on the B string on the 8th fret and my first finger on the 7th fret of the high E string. There we go. And I'm going to play only those two strings. There we go. That's called a third. Like that. That interval is called a third. Good. Now, the next shape is 10 and 8. So I'm going to bring my first finger up one fret, blink, like that. I'm going to go to the 10th fret now of the B string. So that's your only other shape. So that is 10 on the B string and eight on the high E. So we've got, I'm gonna go back to the beginning here now. We've got two and one, second to first fingers on eight and seven, and then we're going to eight and 10, or sorry, 10 and eight. And that same shape is gonna drag up two frets. So you're now on 12 and 10. Like that. So again, only two shapes here, just from the top again. First shape, eight and seven. Now 10 and eight, and then 12 and 10. And it's going to go back the way we came to 10 and 8 and then to 8 and 7. And don't worry about the rhythm just yet. You just got to basically get those chord shapes going, those interval shapes going on. We're going to get this. He's got a bit more swing in there. He's going. It's a little quicker than that, obviously, but hey, go slowly, go slowly. Um, that's your first section. That would be over a G chord. If you have another guitar player, you get that. And the C portion, when the rhythm guitar is on C, it's exactly the same thing, starting here on 13 and 12. Now, it helps to have a cutaway guitar, but you can do it without. You may have to leave your thumb behind or bring your thumb out. Uh, or this could be the very excuse you need to go and buy a cutaway guitar. There we go. So 13 and 12, like that. Same shape we started out with before in the other one. And now we're going to go to 15 and 13, and then 17 and 15. Exactly the same shapes. Back to 15 and 13, and then 13 and 12. Okay, so that again, that second second section is, second bar actually, up we go. There we go. Notice my first finger has always been on the high E, just like that. And I'm only switching between middle and first to third and first, third and first again, and back to third and first here, and middle and first. Yeah, so, so far we have this. Up to 13 here, back to the first one. Now the last shape you're going to need in the second line on your sheet is this, that 7 and 5. Same as another shape that you've already played, again, and then he finishes it off with playing that 7 individually, then an 8 on the same string, then a 5 on the high string. Okay, so, what? so what is that whole thing? Very, very, very slowly, here we go, from the front, here we go. Up, down, come to rest here, repeat, up, down, and then, and then we would hit a G chord and we're in. Yeah, it's kind of neat to be able to play the intro, it kind of tidies things up for sure. I realize that can be a little bit of intimidating if that's new to you, but uh, go at it, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, so look for the play along video, I know that was quick and dirty, but uh, an absolute beginner song for you. Uh, just the speed getting from G's, C's and D's. Make sure you have that in order, come and see us in the play along video when you do, and we'll do it at a medium tempo and then full speed ahead. So thanks again for subscribing, thanks for all your thumbs up, this is a campfire classic for sure. Shane here from Guitar Work, have fun, we'll see you again soon. Bye bye now, cheers, three, four.